morning, everybody. So today my husband and I are headed an hour south of us, actually, to go to a fiber festival, and I'm so excited. So a few weeks ago, my husband and I went to one of our local farmer's markets, and I met the loveliest young woman there. She had a booth with all this homespun hand dyed yarn. And as I'm talking to her, she's telling me that she raises her own sheep and all of this wool is from her own sheep. So of course I had to buy a skein from her. Let me go show you this skein really quick. So it's this lovely green here. Look in the light. Can you see that? It's not going to focus. Oh, there we go. Now it's focusing this lovely, lovely green yarn. My husband helped me cake this a uh, couple days after we got back. But anyways, she was telling me about this fiber fest that's happening today. And I'm like, I got to go. I've got to check this out. So that's where we're headed today. And I'm going to pack some snacks first before we go, because it is, again, it's an hour away and we're going to be gone probably most of the day. So don't really want to spend money on food while we're out. So I'm going to pack some stuff. snacks got the husband <laughs> i think we're ready to go yep let's go my son is coming back today it's my week with my son and i always like to i get his room ready and i always have something smelly plugged in so it is smelling nice and fresh when he comes back today i'm using one of our EcoFlow power stations this little wax melt light going on here just to make it smell nice and fresh for when he comes back and my husband and I went to the lake and went sea glass hunting so I brought him back oh, there's a couple of little stones in here that I thought were cool but I brought him back uh, some of the sea glass I thought he'd like this I always try to have like a new little surprise for him in this in this little wooden dish when he every week when he comes back I'm gonna close this up can't forget our food. All right, I have money, I have food, I have the husband. Gotta go through the mental checklist. couldn't wait and we broke into our sandwiches already. He's into the chips over there. How freaking we're here. I can't wait. So these are your sheep here. Two of them, yes. Yeah. Those were two. They're um, our original registered. Love that. Standard. Badger awesome. face is white. And, and you said this was the badger face? Yes. Oh, I love it that. makes that mold. Yeah, I love yeah, that. When it gets knitted up. What's that? Yarn. It's lopey yarn. Okay. And lopey is because they're double coated. There's a really nice fine undercoat. Yes. And then yes. a hairier, That's nice. coarser right. outer coat. And I have it knitted together rather than separating it. Unless the bunnies went out. So I love that. that. Yes. And oh, this I is, see that. I had this done by a mill and had it done nice. um, thicker. And okay. then this is more of a worsted, but it's still single ply. I love that though. I like this would work because it's thick enough. Yeah. It, yeah. No, that would still work up I've so nice. And oh, that's pretty. That's and that's so pretty. a little bit of it. And the rest are from my old girls before I had Iceland. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about this? Sure, what that you've is got? the Icelandic lamb fleece. Okay. Oh. Um, and the sheep looked fully black on the surface, and then when we sheared her, uh, she developed this, like, or we found that she had this, like, white downy Yeah. her second coat. Yeah. And this is actually her mother. It's really oh, this is the, okay. So <laughs> yeah. This is the daughter. So this is the mother. Relation. I love that. And then these That's two awesome. places down here are um, Lincoln 
okay. Iceland across. So from okay. like two different parts of the world, two different types of wow. trees. And then here it is all spun up. All spun up. And then we got some colorful variations we too. We do too. I love this. <laughs> That's so pretty. Some really pretty crochet accessories. This is so cute. We. <laughs> If you're gonna, if you need to save money on eggs, don't do it. Yeah. If you want to have pet chickens, then yeah, do it. So can you tell me a little bit about your yarn? Okay, so we have a flock of border wessels. Mm -hmm. All the yarn, everything here is from our wool from our border wester flock. Okay. So a lot of the yarn you'll see we've had processed by by mill. Okay. But the yarn in the front is all processed I right do here. All the spinning. Oh, nice. And I do all the dyeing. My gosh, it's lovely. These colorways, like this one, it's so vibrant. Very beautiful. I just love the color part. So this is from? This is from, this is actually shorn off of one of my lambs two days ago. Oh, lovely. And lovely. I do the sharing too. So this oh, is, gosh. Border Lester is a long wool breed. And actually these, these lambs were shown at the state fair this year. Yeah. So they're not Ooh, too yes. Yeah. yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much, ladies. Well, thank you. These thank you. Do you mind if I get some video of you spinning? Know. And your name is? My name is Amy Glazer, and okay. um, my farm is Crooked Creek Sheep and Wool. Can you tell me what you're spinning now? So this is some combed top okay. from um, several pruned pieces that I dyed. It's light purple. Okay. Um, and I'm going to make a, probably it'll end up being like a worsted weight yarn from this. This is his first oh. single. That's beautiful. So, I don't know if I'm going to do a two ply or a three ply. Some of this gray wool. This is gray that's over dyed. Okay. Which I love wow. the soft colors that, that yes. basically result in that. I just love the textural quality of locks. Yeah. So much of my work. That is amazing. I love it. That is amazing. You get all of their little squigglies in there. Look at that one. That was quite a lovely stop. I really enjoyed her tent. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Probably, maybe I'll slide things around a little bit so I could put that out. Even okay. yes, absolutely. <laughs> you know, it always helps to see a swatch and how the like the yeah, phase work. Yeah. It's a popular stop with that little lamb, honey, and then that basket of puppies. Oh my God, so freaking cute. 
All right, we've got some ladies over here spinning, so let's see what they're up to. Okay. So this hand dyed Falklands. That's lovely. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so vibrant. Yeah, I'm in love with this color. Yeah, I bet. So I'm spinning it pretty fine because this is a very old wheel and the orifice is tiny. So oh, wow. I could not yeah. spin a chunky yarn on here if I wanted to. Um, I found this wheel on Facebook Marketplace a few Did you months really? ago. It was made in Connecticut before 1851. A little bit of fiber out from the fiber supply. So I'm controlling how thick the yarn ends up being. Um, yeah, and then this this will get plied with at least one other strand to make a two ply yarn, or I could make a three ply yarn or whatever. Well, that was quite lovely. All right, so the husband and I have a little extra time before we have to meet my son's dad to pick up my son. So we decided to stop at Cornell Botanical Gardens because I haven't been here in probably a couple of years and he has never seen the botanical gardens here um, and they're absolutely lovely if you've never been. So, um, and it was just on our way home anyways. It wasn't even out of our way to come here. So that's what we're gonna go do. Basically what they do is they just count back. So this is this year. That's the growth for this year. It'll be 1990, 1970, 60, 50, 40. That's so they cool. just keep going back and counting the rings. Wow. That way you can tell how old the tree is. That's like the perfect little um, project bag size. Uh, oh, cool. Oh, let me get that to focus. Ooh, it doesn't want to focus. Oh, yeah. Are you crocheting? I am. Are you? Oh. How fun. So we just came from the Fiber Festival up in Freeville. Oh, I know so, about that. So what are you making? Um, a shrub. I'm out of yarn though. But oh, have, that's going to be so pretty. Yes, like a little rectangle shrug. Yes. I love that. We made this corset if you want to. Oh my goodness, product. How pretty <laughs> is that? I love that. So is that your own design? It is. Very nice. Yes. <laughs> that is adorable. Oh, oh I made these inklets that I have on. Oh, some little flowers. Oh, aren't those pretty? <laughs> I love those. Yeah. That's Thank awesome. You. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Pretty little crochet. Those, so cool. Are these like um, elephant ears? Oh, is that what elephant? Oh, maybe it is. I think it is. Maybe our maybe my YouTube community can tell me because I actually don't know. Oh, I'm just now noticing this amigurumi here in the window. <laughs> I didn't notice that before. That's so cute. A little looks like a little kangaroo with a little pouch, babe. Hey, honey, I was oh. right there. Elephant ears. Elephant ears. Oh, yeah. good for you. can see a sea of alpine green something that will stay with me sky is wrapped in blue wish that I could share with you like a photograph when times are good when a flower begins to I've never felt so good. That was a fun, um, unexpected, but fun little stop, a little yeah. detour. All right, so we are making one more stop. See, we weren't going to stop at the Botanic Gardens at Cornell. We were originally just gonna go hike. Um, oh my God, there's so many people over there. Do you see how many people are over there? Where'd he go? Do you see how many people are over there? It's looking really people -y. Yeah, but we can go down to the bottom too. Well, yeah. it's probably gonna be people -y there too. Anyways, we were originally going to hike. Um, it's, very, it's a really easy hike. It's only two miles out and back, I think, to go see some waterfalls. 
But because we did all that walking around to the Botanic Gardens, I didn't really feel like doing that whole walk. And plus my shoes, I'm not really in like walking shoes. They're comfortable, but not to walk two miles in after doing all the walking that we just did. So we're kind of doing the cheater version to see this waterfall and we're just going, we drove up to the overlook. So the only thing is it's been really dry. We haven't had any rain in a really long time. So I don't even know like how waterfall-y they're looking right now. Oh my god, it's like a trickle. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I knew it would be pretty pretty dried up. Yeah. Yeah, so if we had hiked this trail, we would have ended up down there. And that's about two miles out and back or a little over two miles. Cool parts of that trail is that down there you can actually like walk into the rocks and the water and stuff like that. You, you're not supposed to, but yeah, you can. <laughs> you can, but you're not you, supposed well, to. The only part you can't walk out onto is there. Is where yeah, the you can't are. walk out where the falls are. Mm -hmm. But yeah, before you get to the falls, you can actually walk out into the water a little bit. Yeah, so just as I suspected, the falls were not, they were actually doing a lot less than I thought they were going to be doing. But not surprising given how very, very little rain we've had lately. Thank you very much. <laughs> and when you're ready to order, you just okay. order tomorrow. Great, thank you. Um, could I get your summer, um, what did it say? Essence. Uh, summer essence. And then, yeah, could I get that topped with the um, rosé? And then uh, we just wanted to split one of the um, the apple, what's the tart, what is that tart called? The, the tart, yes. the apple tart or whatever that was. Ooh, yes. Is it good? Yeah, it is. That's good. So my husband just reminded me, as if I needed reminding, that this is where I actually picked my, is this focusing? This is actually where I picked my wedding bouquet here a year ago. They have you pick flowers down there. And um, yeah, it was just so, it was fun. It was a really memorable day. It was the day before our wedding and we came here to eat and um, I didn't know they had you pick flowers. Yeah. It was just kind of like a last minute decision. We were sitting out here eating just like we are now. And I'm looking down there, I'm like, oh my God, they have you pick flowers. Like I could pick my wedding bouquet here. So, um, and I wasn't even, you know, it was like such an informal wedding. You know, I wasn't gonna do a bouquet, but. Uh, it didn't take it, you very long, you know, it took you like... Oh my god, I know. Minutes. It was so nice. And then my cousin arranged them for me because I have zero, zero creativity when it comes to flowers. So, yeah, that was a fun, fun memory. Right down there is where I picked my wedding bouquet. My husband and I walked all through there and I found the prettiest ones. Well, that was a fun day. In the beginning, I packed that food because I'm like, oh, I don't want to spend any money on food. But it really, it was just two drinks and a little slice of that apple tart. It was really good. So, like dessert. He's reading bumper stickers. Memory when times are good. That's when I think of you. That's when I think of you.